Hello again. Today I'd like to talk about a phrase that those of you who've ever been to a yoga class or on a spiritual journey, who have spent some time in any kind of retreat will most likely have been confronted with. At some point or other, your teacher will ask you to breathe in through your navel. And most of you at that point in time will have thought what in the world is he or she talking about? Let's demystify this. It's important to understand that when you're dealing with energy, be it kundalini energy, white energy, anything you can imagine, those are visualizations of things that actually happen. So in a way, you're combining the energy world with your thoughts. And it is generally held that energy follows thought. So when your teacher asks you to breathe in through your navel, what you're doing is breathing in like you normally do through your physical apparatus to breathe. But on a visualization level, you imagine that while you're breathing in, that energy you breathe in doesn't go in through your throat, but through any other place in your body. That could be your navel, that could be your third eye. So really what they're doing is just indicating where your mind should draw in the energy rather than where your lungs are pulling in the air. Of course, it's a strange way of phrasing this, but it's very efficient. The trouble is that a lot of people going into these environments may not be aware that energy follows thought and they are not aware of the phrase and what it means. So it comes across as really, really strange. It needs to be explained, but on the other hand, you can't expect any class to start at the very beginning. So many of us have just sort of figured out what it means. And then when it's explained at some point, it made perfect sense. So to spare you the trouble, this is your explanation to understanding the phrase breathe in through your navel. So next time somebody says that to you, you know what to do. And you don't think that you've ended up in some kind of strange cult. Keep that in mind and be well.